Right, ladies and gents, the uh, MFC tent, the army tent there, Baker style, did come with a bag, but um, no one would expect any less of me. I've made myself another bag, so it takes everything into one bag. Uh, Cador and Island, <laughs> uh, same the size, so it's got a square bottom, makes it easier. Uh, as I'm making it for myself, I'll put a, quite a simple shoulder strap on it. And that's just uh, helped me just, well, just, I've just carried it in over my shoulder. Um, roll top bag. And uh, see down here, if you was going to put it, if that's on the top of the top of your Bergen, you can put straps around that just to secure it. Or if you want it on the side of the Bergen, um, you can actually, you know, you get horizontal straps that go around and you can just attach that to the side of your Bergen. Um, but yeah, just kind of guesstimated the size. So, cut the bottom. Uh, done at the bottom, but like it's got everything in there, all a uh, one stop, you know, grab and go. And that's uh, I just made that. And uh, what I kind of like to do is do the old DB Birkin, so it gives me capacity. And Mike Tush just said, you know, would you put a stiffener in there? Actually, no, I didn't. It's got a uh, literally webbing around there. I'm doing this one handed. Just rip apart. And uh, obviously, tents in there, insulation mat, ground sheet, the poles, uh, and, and everything's in there. There's all the other. There's the poles. I put the poles in the original bag, which, you know, is okay, but, you know, we can do, tight work can do better than that. But everything's in there, all one stop shop, including my tent pegs, which are down the bottom. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. It's, uh, it's not fault raven because this is not best moment is it's only it's one off uh, unique creation that's is designer designer the Russians would love to have this <laughs> anyway better shut up now and uh, get the thing set up right there, gents that's it's opened and uh, there we see there's the original bag there uh, it's got the poles and all that stuff in for it and me uh, 10 pegs that's the ground sheet um, just an interim one that's firm and insulation and there's a tent itself carrying the tent itself would actually goes into that one and could quite effectively be attached to the side of a bergen um, but anyway i'll shut up now and uh, get it done and there we go ladies and gents uh, the water fire control msc tent is now up might need just to tinker uh, with a few of the guidelines to get it pulled down a bit but other than that, yeah, I've got the old uh, silver ground sheet there, that fits in there, almost perfect, that's my standard insulation, and I've, I've given up with all the blowout mats, so I can just do one, Fox or Oscar, um, I've just got the old rubber pad there, and uh, that's it, yeah, your Bergen's in there, there is uh, plenty of space in there, plenty of space to get all your kit in, all your water, all your admin and that, yeah. Nice bit of canvas. You, can't, you know, the more it gets worn in and that, the more better, better it gets, because this is kind of like new-new. But -new. uh, yeah, the only thing I might consider doing, and I'm, it will be, you know, good hard to think about it, is sewing a zip down here and a zip down there. It's got the poppers, this thing's you meant to, the, more, the weapons are in there, signal comes through, pop it up, mate, and that's, uh, you know, all the ammunition's in there, the more it's not designed to be fucking about with zips, and I did mean to swear that army, you know, that's probably you do grab, rip, and take that mortar interaction because somebody on the other end is uh, hurting badly and they need some uh, mortar fire support. And mortars are designed to kill people in direct contact with the soldiers who are there to protect. And again, see, it's got some little, 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 little big so that needs to be pulled down a bit there. So, you can get it all tight, it's not too. Um, too fancy at all. But yeah, pop it over there. Have a little walk around and show you some of these set up. Already decided all the setups that side of the brook are all a bit gaylord. So I've got the brew there, kindly furnished by Davy because he's a good bloke, and there's all our lads there. I'm going to sit down, have a, a coffee, a blow, and uh, if anything is interesting, I'll bring you back, ladies and gents. Here we see. Uh, David's Pears is, is that, is that yours, Matt, is it? No, it's Dave's. Dave's, yeah. Swags. A lot of swags. A lot of swags about today. That's Matt. Matt, it's always good to see you, sir. And you, sir. And, ooh, 
A rare person. Oh, I just banged my head there. A rare person. Mighty car. Mighty Our little mascot. <laughs> and there's Mike Swift, Santa Claus giggling in the corner. <laughs> and Dave's modelling one of his new burgers. He's um, just uh, done in MTP and um, hopefully I'll keep badgering him to um, vlog it to badgering him. Mate, I'm serious, he's making brilliant kit. MTP, genuine MTP. The material's not cheap because it's good. Plug it to the, you know, the, the soldiers that were like me that to have the best kit. But, uh, um, without a shadow of a doubt, this is Marty Cuff's swag. Um, obviously, he's, the poles, he's, he's either forgotten or something, but he's, he's, he's a nice improvisation there. Swag without the poles, still getting the job done. Normally I take the mick, but I'm still getting the job done, Marty, isn't it? Your, your swag, like, you've forgotten the poles, but it's still getting it done. Yeah, oh, fair enough, mate. Yeah. All the lads have got these, I can't, I can't um, gold zeros, um, really, really can't recommend them too much, ladies and gentlemen, I've done a film on that, I think the lads saw that, um, oh, who was it, um, John North East Bushcrafter and I, I bought one and then like the proper industry standard now, but look at my, that'll bless him, he makes all this kit and he's just bloody brilliant, but it's uh, Ray Mears, too much Ray Mears here, leaf cutters, Bergens, Another one here. Might have actually found out I'm one of the few people that hasn't got one or owned a um, Ray Mears bag, um, Bergen. And I'm, I'm quite noted for my Bergens. <laughs> now they're all taking, taking a mick. That is my, my necessaries bag. First in there. Yeah. We're probably in there. <laughs> I love the way you hold it. <laughs> you, you, you've done a handbag before, sir, haven't you? Oh, yeah. That is a brilliant little bit of kit, sir. That is a brilliant little bit of kit. That's my, like, <coughs> everything bag. However, Mike's... Did my missus was going, it's a bloody handbag, wasn't she? She was, like, proper getting into me, wasn't it? It's a handbag. I'll have one of them. I'll use it as a bloody handbag. Yeah. But I'll show you that in later. It's just somebody's brought it up. It's a little bag and it's a nice little zip bag and you put your things in the front and all that. I'll show you that in, in a different video. Oh, dildos. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Dad? What did you just say? Say it again, sir. Dildos. <laughs> Your mandos. Yeah, mandos. But yeah, that's a, another little acquisition there. It's got all my food in it and all that kit. And the old Russian Doobie Perkin kit there. Dave set up. And Barney's over there. It's the first time he's joining us. Really nice to meet other people. Really is nice. And uh, yeah, um, there's my humble abode. I'll get in there and get me uh, sleeping bag out and get myself set up for the night. And that's a swag bag city here. Uh, that's yours, Matt, isn't it? Matt, that's yours, isn't it? Yeah, that's mine. Yeah. Floppy at the moment, so yeah, well, we don't want to know about your sexual history, sir. If it's floppy, it's floppy. You know what I mean? People didn't know I was filming, bless him. Uh, but that's the old swag and that. He's got it off the ground and uh, on one of them girly um, cot fishing beds. The. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's going or not, but I mean, it's all right doing the thing, but yeah, it, it's nice to have a, a horizontal surface to put your, your, your gear on. Again, more David gear and a Tonka tarp. I'm quite sort of taken with these, to be honest. They are nice, really nice. And I was looking last night, you can get a, a 3B3 or just 3x285 for 90 or 94 quid. That's a lot of money, 94 quid is a lot of money, but that's, that's a, it is a canvas tarp and that, and it's lightweight. But yeah, I'm going to, the there's the brook there, there's the bridge, and you know, this is the Gaylord section, this is the Gaylord section. <laughs> I'm not sleeping over there, because <laughs> <I would, laughs> my bottom's still hurting from paying postage from Russia. <laughs> it was that much, it was like they went in dry. Then, anyway, swiftly moving on, because ladies watch my videos at times. Uh, I won't feel myself getting over that because that's very, very slippery. And this is uh, Paul Shovel Wreckies. I think that's a, a Louis II or something. I've got my own mind to uh, sort of design something like that around that, but not as expensive and a bit more practical. Oh, here we go. I can't get away from him, can I? Bloody Ray Mears. Bloody. Oh. No wonder he's a millionaire. Now, I do like the little toggle thing around the tree. Nice. Um, but yeah, this uh, well, it's Scottish mountain gear. Um, I do rate them at Ray Mears pack. Uh, solidly made. Uh, 
military specs and uh, it, they are like a, a little TARDIS but they're getting on for 200 quid now you can buy a lot of Bergen for 200 quid and they're lightweight, I do really rate them that's the only thing with that man's name on it there he is, that I rate because it's just so expensive ladies and gentlemen I'm not saying it's not good gear, I'm just saying you need a mortgage to buy it right, obviously that's a bit spot on there so that's uh, Des Catty and uh, a lot of people getting into the Belgium DPM bivy bags they're the best bivy bags for the money you can buy um, absolutely fan dabby dozy and especially they've got the zip up the side I do know this is Mike Smith's yes, yes it's Mike Smith's and I'll tell you what, I want to have a look at that as well he's got the new, I think it's Highlander um, bivy bag and that but yeah, nicely sort of different arranged tarp kind of a and again, these things ladies and gents, you don't know what they are get on him he's got two there yeah it's nice little set up there eh? IPK sheet <laughs> nobody, nobody knew what an IPK sheet was for like sort of gold or one under the gutter pills but they're spot on and you get the best best temp pegs in the world with them as well yeah. IPK temp pegs mm. but we are near a uh, very very famous World War II airfield so it's quite nice because you be sitting there talking and you think blimey that's a Merlin engine you know um, so it's like a, a Spitfire P-51 Mustang taking off that's a lovely little wood that Dave's got uh, access to and now DD Multicam um, I like it but the pan just needs to be bigger it does go with the woodland floor but once you walk a few steps away, it, the pattern's so small, it's just, it, it disappears into it and you still get the square shape, or oblong, ob, oblong shape. And I'm thinking this must be um, Barney's over here, by process of elimination. Ah, oh, DD Coity brown top. Ooh, ooh, bo 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 bottle of wine there, sir, bottle of wine. Fruit based drink for the ladies. Oh, he's got an old pass. Oh, he's, he's proper on point there. Look at that. Very nice, the old bivy bag. And yeah, I think that's a carry more burger in there, yeah, very nice. Very nice. But the only thing I don't like, it's going to get dark by, you know, here, it'll be dark by half four, because we're in the woods. Just a swift um, overnighter. Well, a couple of lads, most, some of them, you know, it depends what you're working. I work till 10 o'clock on Friday night on a late shift, but some have been here Friday and Saturday, leaving whatever time you want on a Monday, which is nice. Here we go, ladies and gents, there's uh, Mike Smith, and uh, there's the old uh, battery charger he, he uh, made for me. Dave's just uh, charging some up there. Comes in a little plastic ammunition box and that. Uh, and that can do a lot of things. It's got lights in it, which we'll see later on, which are underneath that panel. Um, yeah, really nice bit of kit. And uh, that's made um, rich, um, you know, the Viking rich. Uh, it gives a couple of batteries, I can't remember. We, we, we just give each other a bit of stuff, like a jacket or something. And then Mike made me this. And uh, he had one of the batteries, to, I think, for the back of his Land Rover or whatever. That's it, there it is. It's all working now. In. You can even uh, charge it up from a car battery. Again, kind of have it, it sits on the shelf, I just sort of sod it um, and bring it out. Bring it, bring it, bring it out. Nice little bit of kit. And there, ladies and gents, that's a me professional Russian, professional Russian um, Russia. I ain't got time to play a battery, but I'll bring it. Bring it out next time and have a play with it because it can make into a little tent. It's Spetsnaz, it's like professional Russian. It's got loads of kit in there. Nothing that I'm not going to use. It's a bit bulky, but what you got it on? Okay, no? good done. Paul, who looks like the uh, captain on Tintin. <laughs> Radio 2, Radio 4, he's, 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 he
He's a definite Radio 4 man, he is. The archers and all that. <laughs> Have you just admitted that on, on film? Yeah. Have you, you listened to the archers? Oh, Alright, so I mean, Nah. Nah, I know I'm getting old. Mum said that. When the music gets too loud, you're getting old. And I was like, yeah. You're the oldest one my generation. <coughs> Marty, please no. Your singing is as bad as mine. Not worse than mine, but as bad as mine. Oh, nice little fight, and you know. <laughs> and when people are at the back of a motor, this is me cockney kicking in. See, when people are at the back of a motor there, I won't zoom in. You always assume they're flogging dodgy gear, don't you? Knock off. <laughs> You know, there's a couple of like, do 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 the old um, cheap gear radars just come on. <laughs> You're the worst for it, you are. Oh, well, I know so, I know, I'll, I'll take that, yeah. I'm not one of the nice bits of kit where I'm at the mortgage, and the amount of Ramirez Bergens here is just wrong. It's wrong. You leave Uncle Ray alone. What? I'm yet the right price, mate. I said it, I said it, I'll, I'll make one and it'll be better than that. Yeah, but it won't be Ramirez, I guess. Thankfully, no, no, no. See, if you've yeah, got a Ramirez, you'd modify it, wouldn't you? I would. But they don't need modifying. They do? They don't. It's Whatever it is, it needs modding, mate. Um, you've got to tinker with it, yeah? But what have you done to your missus, then? <laughs> no, she's, she's a prime original. She's a prime original. She's You've not been modded, then? No, no, mate, no. When, once you get one like that, you know what I mean, they broke the mould. <laughs> see, that brownie point's coming in, see how that? <laughs> yeah, that means... <laughs> I've just, just made Mike so giggle. That's <laughs> even made Mike Smith giggle, that, hasn't I'll it? Yeah. <laughs> How many tents? No, well, I'll tell you what, lads. I'll flog the burger to get that. Yeah, what about that one you ordered about ten minutes ago on your phone? No, well, mate. No, 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 I ain't, mate, because if it's paper, it goes ding on her phone because the, the PayPal's on her phone. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, she, she will check the phone if she watches this, mate. She might not watch this too much because Baldrick's not on it, bless him. And we can't bring him here because it's like permission and the guy's got dogs himself. Oh, that's looking very nice. Very, very nice. It's a bit early for dinner, yeah? I oh, know, it's just going to get dark, isn't it? Anyway, there's my all my food in there. That's me food and debris firkin. Bag. No, that's me debris firkin no, bag. That's me debris firkin bag. That's going to be in me, in, in me tent later on, mate. And in there, you know, that's me phone. That's for me glasses and, you know, that's for whatever crap I've got in my pockets and that. It's got wire top. It's a tool bag, lads. It's a tool bag. It is a tool bag. It's a nice little bit of kit. Tool bag. Handbag. Oh, even my missus said it's an handbag. Shit, I'll get one if I'll have it as a shopping handbag. <sighs> anyway, I think I need to get another brew on. USB charger, not all. Yeah. So there's, there's that little Russian thing that's still missing. Just give it the first burn there, get some water going. And there's Matt Carney. Eating his rice. Oh, yeah. Give him some burgers. Four uh, meals a day. Some burgers. This is just the in-between meal. This is a snack, yeah. This is a snack. Yeah. I've got yeah. steak and... Uh, Cajun chicken for later. Cajun chicken. I think they're about this Cajun chicken. Oh, I might have a chip on there. <laughs> Given that first burn. And when you put the lid on there, it does. Remember those, remember those chips we done at the, uh, I was telling them. Down at oh, the yeah. <laughs> Mine and Eddie's were all soggy. With that bloody great big trout that, was, that like, you were given as well. Oh, yeah, I bet you saw you, you turned out now, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I bet bet you saw you turned out now. Well, you, you, you knew a little bit what to expect, mate, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing there? Yeah. What are you there? Because yeah. we did the same as well with Kanchaita, with uh, Ramdor. We had uh, four burgers. Well, I'll, I'll we, we couldn't get the heat right for the chips yeah. until we put it on the fire pit because it's just constant. I ordered enough four burgers for like two each. Right? And we all have one, that was enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, it was, yeah. Uh, anyway, I do remember that, mate, yeah. There we go. Ladies, it's, uh, well, for me, it's like God o'clock early in the morning. And uh, all the reprobates are here. Here is himself, Scannon. Yeah. 
Mike, grumpy Mike in the morning. Better. <laughs> Obviously looking at Paul Hub. A bit miserable this morning, isn't we? <laughs> you take a moment in the morning, don't you, sir? Yeah. There we go. There. Didn't do much filming, mate, but it was just. No, no, no. No, there's a. I think most, most of what was with the crack couldn't have gone more on film, really. <laughs> but that's, that's the, <laughs> as Des calls it, and we were adopting that, it was like beer bollocks. Not that anybody was drinking too much, but the, the crack was good, mate, last night, wasn't it? Just proper rolling up. Yes, ladies and gents, I actually went to sleep on this. I put my head there. There was a glove there. No padding. I mean, proper infantry. And I went to sleep there, and my feet, because it wasn't long enough, were just cropped onto the floor. But uh, I went to sleep there. Yeah. Well, I just put rest of my head for a bit, and that was it. I was asleep. But, um, I'm afraid um, you know it's a bit of a gift, really, to be able to have a kid any time, any place, anywhere. Like the milk tray, man. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sandpaper, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know that stuff you was on about. I, I, I got some. I found it in your toolbox. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm still having had my first morning coffee. But yeah, seriously, that gents, I, I slept on there for about a good sort of half an hour, forty minutes, until I, I don't know, I, somebody woke me up. I think. But yes, infantry, proper infantry. There is me, uh, my little tent there, ladies and gents. So, it's a tent, you know, I always have a good night's sleep. Um, yeah, well, happy with that. Uh, even David says he's got first dibs on this because he's locked to a few modifications and one of them being is um, bringing um, well code on don't need to be too flash um, I normally mod everything but I don't really want to do too many mods for that and again oh yeah, we can see how waterproof it is yeah. Isn't they? Lovely waterproof. Um, again, uh, steps in there. No, I didn't even put the uh, the front flap down. Just uh, well, I'm quite lucky. I can just go in and get my sleeping bag. Um, proper infantry, proper infantry. Because last night I slept with my boots on. Just couldn't be bothered to take my boots off, to be honest. So I just got in there and had a kip, um, and then woke up with all the noise from. Uh, the lads like apparently I snore but as I said and um, unless I hear myself snore I, I'm not going to admit to snoring uh, but yeah lovely little tent you know proper loving it uh, Dave's got a number of modifications he wants to as I said he can have if I ever get rid of this uh, he's got first dibs on it but yeah he just wants to sort of uh, have a thing you can attach it there and take it off and then just bring it down to the floor which is easy enough done um, my only thing is just put, trying to put something on the sides here and again it would be velcroed on the top uh, and just run down just to keep the wind off uh, and that may or may not happen I don't know I have lots of plans for stuff ladies and gents but probably like you this will resonate um, I just do not have uh, time is my most precious thing at the moment but there you go uh, Crimpia sleeping bag the old uh, United States Marine uh, bivy bag uh, 
That's it. Um, yeah, so that's me set up. That's where Matt Tiny was, and I can confirm Matt snores like a donkey. But there you go. Um, and we're just up in the morning and uh, milling about and all that, ladies and gents. But um, what I'm going to do now is uh, pack up all my night kit. I haven't done a lot of filming because uh, <laughs> some of the some of the band are probably best off not going on film. <laughs> and when you pull it out, you, won't, you haven't got a great deal of light anyway when it's night time. Anyway, uh, bring you back, ladies and gents. Right, ladies and gents, here's uh, Les having his breakfast. Very nice, uh, very nice. And the morning retrobates. So what was we just talking there lads about a Raymere's sewing kit and how much was it? 28 quid. 28 quid. Okay, right, well we'll see what the tight wad can do for a fibre, right? <laughs> I'm still waiting for me tobacco pouch. <laughs> <laughs> my, right, so 28 quid for a sewing kit. Does it wake you up with a blowjob and coffee? You know, I'm being serious. No, I'd want it to for 28 quid. And you're having one, mate, yeah? I would, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely get one. Right, we'll see what the tightwad can do for a fiver. You yeah? can't have one, though, because if you put it in your burger and you'd lose it, you don't do your pouch again. No, I've, I've all this... All this hates and it's irritating me. What's that? This, this gear has got to go in there, mate. This gear's got to go in there. All my, all my coffee cups and stuff. No, but, I mean, that just... I just won't... I won't... I can't... I'm speechless. Speechless, ladies and gents. What? I'm speechless. Why? Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, say what's on my mind. Yeah, but then you go and buy a Russian yeah. cook kit for 40-odd pounds. Yeah, 30 quid. poisons everyone. <laughs> well, it doesn't, mate. It needs a bit of a washout. But, um, you know, that's like your professional Russian. Um, and I'll investigate that. But um, it needs a bit of a washout. But let's have a look, mate. Is this it? Is this it? Let's have a look. Plutonium fucking cook pot. I'll try and get that in focus. Oh right, so it has actually got a needle in it. Yeah. Is that all it's got in it? A needle. Your, your thread. Your thread at the top. Okay, so we're talking about a little spool. Um, See the machine that makes machine alloy out in there because it's all alloy in it. Machine. It's just like that. Yeah. Right, okay, no, fair enough. We'll see what the type would can do with a fiver. And it won't come to nowhere near a fiver because I know that. <laughs> look at Mike, look at what he's got. There's nothing wrong with that at all, mate. You know? Match case out of a shotgun be like, but 28 quid, I'll, I'll make a shelter, you know what I mean? But anyway, we're, we're swiftly moving on, because there's some strong feeling there, like, you know, I'm having a pop at Ray Mears. <sighs> Sewing kit. And Marty's not saying nothing, that's always worried to me. Anyway, ladies and gents, it's the morning. Cheers, Dave. For yeah, night, mate, yeah. Again, mate. yeah, as always. Right, not, not a lot of filming of a night time, mate, because some of the banter, guess what? I'm yeah. glad it's not on film. <laughs> or as Des says it, beer bollocks. <laughs> but yeah, got me, uh, got me a little bit sad, just packed up, and uh, we'll be away soon, mate. Lady Des will be away soon. Right, take care, and uh, as I say, Dave, cheers, mate. Always nice coming down there, it's a cracking time. Good to see you, uh, and nice to see um, Barney. Nice to see you. Thanks, Dave. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice. Alright, take care ladies and gents.